Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yoki Man here. Welcome back to another episode of my Football Manager 2019 save here with CSKA Moscow. Uh, and things are going pretty well. I think they're going better than expected. Uh, we're having some real injury issues, which is being very frustrating for us. But it seems like we're playing well so far. I've decided to come back for the uh, UFA game today instead of the Napoli game. I told we both, but I just thought if we came back for Napoli, you'd... It'd just be a live con where I get destroyed. And who wants to watch me just get destroyed? I don't want to. I don't want that to be seen. But anyway, guys, we're going to come back against uh, UFA. Uh, we've just played Dynamo Moscow. Uh, well, we've just played in the Cup, but that's the last league game we play. We're playing pretty well. Uh, four wins, three draws. We're not bad. We're actually not bad. We're a lot better than I expected us to be. And we seem to be fitting into the system well and playing well and moving the ball quite well so far. So let's take a look at the schedule and see what happened. Um, right. So Rubin was the last um, live come. If you didn't see that, go watch it. It was great. Uh, we then played Orenberg 3-1. We beat them. Lasana, uh, Lasana and Dai has started coming into the team and playing really well. Now, what I did realise about the squad, some great youngsters. They're predominantly foreign, but great youngsters. Uh, Lasana and Dai, of course, uh, being one of those youngsters, he looks pretty tasty for the future. Only 17. He's only 17. We can really develop this kid. I'm really excited about him, uh, as you can tell. Uh, and also, uh, Sigurdsson, he's, he's brilliant. He's 19. He's fantastic. Great player. We then got bad 3-0 by Man City. Very much expected. Um, we played okay-ish. We we played. We turned up. We went on the pitch. I mean, they battered us. I mean, they were very good. I mean, to only concede three, I'm quite happy, uh, to be honest with you. And then Dynamo Moscow was one of the most utterly frustrating games we played. Um, really, really was. 3-3. Three, three. The final goal that they scored in the 88th minute... Um, our goalkeeper, Akin Fayev, threw the ball at their striker there, and it went in. He threw the ball off him, and it went in the back of the net. So you can imagine my rage when that happened, but it's okay. 3-3 Free is not a bad result. They're a very strong team. They're doing well in the league. Uh, Rasmus Falk getting a goal, the legend. And again, Lasana being brilliant. I mean, he just pressured the keeper for one of the goals as well, which was very good. And you can see 45 and 45 plus 2. We really capped them back. Then we just played in the cup. There is one thing that you will see a theme of. We tend to like to concede. Um, we don't have the greatest of defences. I mean, look at this. We've won 3-1. And one of our uh, one of our centre backs has got a six point three. We don't have the greatest of defences. Uh, Vlasic, uh, Fedor Chalov, who looks really good as well as another striker. I was worried when Hernandez got injured. Adele Hernandez got injured, and I was like, we we're screwed, guys. We're screwed. This is it now. We're gonna be ruined. But no, Chalov's playing really well. The number nine, twenty year old Russian. I really want to develop him. Uh, for the simple fact he's Russian, we need the Russians in the squad. I'm gonna to look to offer him a new contract. Actually, we'll do that right now. Cause why not? Why not do it live? Uh, okay. I instantly always do this, and then he'll come back and tell me that uh, my uh, my assistant was awful. Uh, I, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. We do look still financially stable. It looks like there's going to be some money to spend. And I've been starting to scout the Russian players and who we might potentially want to bring in next season in terms of um, Russian players, more importantly than anything, because, of course, we need to use the Russian players, utilise them, because we need at least seven in the match day squad um, at all times. We can only have six foreign players, which is absolutely fine. And I think we've got a key group of foreign players at the minute that are going to be very good for us. But that my issue is, is the bench is quite full of foreign players and I can't swap a Russian player out to bring a foreign player on because I'm at my cap. As you can see, this is an issue. Uh, but yeah, so we're definitely scouring the Russian market. It's, it's been pretty interesting of a save so far. Um, to be 100% honest, I've never really had to do that much in terms of making sure that I'm looking for Russian-only players. Uh, these guys can come on the bench because you get a hella big bench. Uh, when it comes to the uh, to the league, so this lad is definitely not playing today after that dreadful performance in the last game. Swap them round, Falcon Zagorev, of course. Oh, but Falk is tired. At the <sighs> right, let's quick pick and let's see the fitness. The fitness is dreadful. This is the issue. We do have a small squad. 
Uh, right, you there. This is potentially something we should be winning um, comfortably. Let's put Nisha Murder up front. Um, hmm, issues. I don't really have greatness when it comes to the left side. Um, how is Sigerson? Tired. They're both tired. We're going to have to bite the bullet. We're going to have to bite the bullet and play them tired. I'm going to play Ignacio today there. I know he's not mega comfortable there, but he will have to do. Like I say, this is my key issue at the minute. I really need to get some time on the ground to start building this squad so that it's mine. Rasmus Falk is extremely tired. Are they better swapped around? Yes, to a degree. Uh, yeah, Rasmus Falk is extremely tired. So we definitely, this is a this is a weak squad. This is a very weak squad. Um, I don't really want Magnussen in there, but his his co-partner is extremely tired. Yeah, we're gonna have to go with that. So yeah, one hundred percent. My key uh, my key decisions coming into January. Well, when we get to January, we're not there yet. If you do have any suggestions of Russian players, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you. Cheers. Um, yeah, my, that's my big issue is squad depth in terms of positional. We, As you can see there, we don't have the players to cover the positions I need to really cover. Um, that's going to be an issue for us moving forward. Uh, we're on key highlights. Great. Yeah, it's going to be a real big issue for us moving forward, I think, because we're not being hugely consistent with our selection after when we've got a group of games together and being in the Champions League that's not great now we do have like a 24 man squad don't get me wrong we've got quite a big squad but I've realistically only got the the two uh, wingers in the team uh, who are my starting wingers Vlasic and uh, Sigerson so that's an issue uh, and then I don't really have a huge amount of central mids that I trust you know the two I'm playing today are okay-ish uh, you know, I much prefer um, Jagarev and Falcon there. So, that's a bit of an issue as well. And, okay. Great commentator's curse there. <sighs> Jacker scores. I literally just said I didn't have faith in these guys. Literally just said it. And, yeah. I mean, I don't know what the keeper's doing. <laughs> I don't know. He's palming with Finair. But, yeah. I mean, it's update day. As well, we had a uh, somewhat small update. I haven't read any of the patch notes. I may read them, may not, but I'm not going to tell you guys if I do or don't. So yeah, at this point, guys, make sure to go down and follow me on Twitter. We do post as much as we can. I'll be honest, predominantly uh, the majority of it at the minute is about Braga and Twitch. But obviously, this is still early days. As I've always said, when I start this save, this is the the background save. This is a couple of uh, you know, a couple of days a week, maybe free. I mean, we we've hit free for the first week. It's been out, which is great. It's looking like it's only going to be two this week, uh, because there's a hell of a lot going on, moving house and so on and so forth. But um, yeah, I mean, the idea is to have it as often as possible. But uh, Braga is the predominant series at the minute. So if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. It has its own playlist and stuff. Uh, we have serious competitions to win. Uh, I'm hoping this year in this save that maybe we could get a cup final. I think if we can get everybody fit, keep everybody fit. I mean, we've not even played Fernandez yet. Uh, and he's by, by far a country mile our best right back. Looking forward to having him back in the squad. Uh, but if we can win games like this where we're not playing our strongest team, then that bolts extremely well for us. It, it really does, because these are the types of games we need to be getting. The goals, Ignacio, yes! Great signing. I mean, I've got him on loan in the Braga save, and his performance has been really top-notch. He's been really good, a very good performer. Um, so I did. I, I knew to a degree that he was going to be okay, wasn't he? Um, and he has, yeah, he's been really good, and he gets his first goal there. Nice. So the wingers have worked out. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're playing an easier side. Let's load up the league table here. I usually have this here. And this would put us second, neck and neck with Arsenal Tula. I mean, Arsenal Tula are playing out of their skins. They're having an awesome season. As far as I know, they're not supposed to be this good. Uh, but they're playing Dynamo right now, and Dynamo are beating them. So that's fine. Let's make some substitutions. Sometimes you don't want to, but um, our striker there is playing absolutely awful. 
Um, so yeah, I think we probably should make some changes. Uh, and Dai can come on. Such he's been so good for us. I can't. I'm so excited to have a 17 year old striker who looks that good with that kind of potential. It's it's ridiculous. And do you know what? Apart from this midfield change, I'm not going to make any more changes. But um, yeah, we solely haven't really built. Well, we haven't built the team. We, apart from Rasmus Falk, we're using the exact same team that you get gifted at the start. And I don't know about you boys, but I feel so much better when I've started to put some input into the squad. I've got my own players in. With the players that play the style that I want them to play. Uh, we play quite a high press, a little bit Gagan pressy, but quite a high press, quite attacking. That's the style I want to play. I tend to play with most teams. I don't know if we'll play that when we do a smaller English side but for now that's the style I want to play especially here in Russia um I need to get some Brazilians in that's what we need to do um but yeah apart from that great result I mean we dominated they only had one shot on target and the clean sheet for me here yeah that's it's pretty important because we haven't really had many clean sheets this season with CSKA in Moscow it's been a little bit of a thing send that to the assistant he's pretty much going to say exactly what I would have said and, uh, yeah, happy days. We now go and play Napoli, which 100% could dent the spirit. Now, basically, the situation is is we need to get results against Napoli and Galatasaray, really, to go through and finish second. I said early doors, I'm more than happy for Europa League. I think we could maybe go a little bit deeper in the Europa League. Um, I'm holding on to the potential that the board may give me some money in January. Um, and now I know we have quite a big winter here in Russia. So that's going to be a little bit intense. Where is it? Here we go. January and February, there are no games whatsoever. Um, so that's going to be a big running for us. But January, I'm hoping we can get some business done. Or else it's just going to be a lot of me sat down pressing continue. Um, I, you could say I could holiday. I don't really like holidaying. Uh, but the next game, what will we do? We've done locomotive this season. We have. And with the time span and how things are going, I will probably either bring you Spartak or Galatasaray. Either Galatasaray game, depending on time frame. If I'm trying to push a video out, you know, you'll get this one. If not, you'll get the home one or you'll get Spartak Moscow. I like the sound of either. I might even do a double header because we haven't done one yet in this save. But anyway, guys, feel free to come and check me out on Twitch and on Twitter. And join the Discord for all information of what's going on and situations. And when the videos go live, it actually comes up in Discord. I find it a lot easier to see um, people that I'm following their videos go live if I've got Discord open. Because it, notif it, like, it notifies me and YouTube is, is absolutely rubbish at notifying you about us small YouTubers. Um, feel free to leave comments. And I will see you guys in the next one where hopefully we keep this run going. We keep playing well. This is a good start. This I feel... I feel like Russia's going to be good. Cheers, guys.